How are we all doing today, folks? Happy Sunday. Welcome to another live Smell It Sunday. This is a show where we talk about candles, we talk about aromatics, we celebrate our passion for aromatics. I kind of already said that. That was a very weak introduction. I'm going to get better at this one day. But today is a very special day. Well, special for somebody because for a week long I've been having a, a giveaway. Maybe some of you guys forgot. I almost forgot. It's been so long. This week has been such a long time, but I have a Yankee candle to give away. Hello, everybody joining in. This will be another somewhat short live. What I'm going to do is uh, I will uh, going to be giving away a Yankee candle. We had a trivia based giveaway that was uh, that I that I, I posted last weekend. And I'm going to announce the winner uh, at the end of this quick live because then we're going to move to my secondary channel. This is the Candle Enthusiast. A lot of you folks might be new to the channel, but this is the Candle Enthusiast. My second channel is called Aromatically Speaking, and that's where we do most of our live streams, our spontaneous lives. So first thing I want to do is pull you guys up here. And before we do a giveaway, you know, I, you know, everyone's not gonna win today, right? I, I wish everybody could win. So I figured I would supplement the video with a little sneak peek, a little bit of Christmas in July. I am going to be, this is really unprofessional. I have the, fa the fan is supposed to be hidden. I am going to be doing a sneak peek, or excuse me, a Christmas in July, spoiler alert video for Yankee Candle. Uh, I'm gonna be filming it really soon. But I thought before I, I did my evaluations and I filmed it and I edited it and I did all my production value, I would at least show you some of the candles that are going to be released this year for Christmas. Again, Yankee Candle 2018, the holiday season. So uh, let me pull you guys up. Let me say hello, everybody, so I can see all the comments. Trisha, we have Chris, Natalie, Nick, Nans17, Kitty Danger, hello, and thank you for joining in. Even though Harry Slacken is currently live on QVC, I know a lot of you folks that are usually here are probably tuning in to watch Harry, and I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. He's promoting his uh, brand new autumn collection and Christmas collection pre-orders. I watched last night at midnight. I thought I was gonna watch for a couple minutes. I ended up watching the whole two hours. Um, QVC is just like that. It's kind of contagious. It pulls you in. And um, so just as soon as I can see that we have good reception, the lighting is actually not that bad today. It's a little dreary, but today is kind of a dreary day. Let's do, before we do uh, the giveaway announcement, which is the candle is going to be in this box, right? Look at that, look at that. When's the last time you've seen one of these boxes? But that's what, uh, that's where the candle is that will be shipped out to the winner. Oh man, a little bit out of my sorts. I was rushing as always to get the show on the road. So for you folks who are like, why are you talking about Christmas? Again, Christmas in July. Christmas in July. Plus, you know how Yankee Candle is. They're always like six months ahead, more than six months ahead. I saw a picture, I think, on the, on the Candle Enthusiast uh, Facebook fan group page yesterday. I, I apologize that I don't know. I can't remember who it was who posted the picture. But they were from um, somewhere in Europe. Um, uh, I can't remember what country either, but they showed pictures of Easter fragrances for 2019. <sighs> what is going on, Yankee? I'm not complaining. But the problem is, it's just like there, there's no way there, there's no way to be surprised anymore because if you're telling us fragrances that are coming out a year from now, yeah, we're not going to be surprised. In fact, many of the fragrances I'm going to show you now. Um, I've known about for quite some time, but let's talk about them because some of them, maybe you guys uh, haven't, maybe you're out of the loop a little bit, maybe you purposely, uh, and I commend you for that, maybe you purposely tried to dodge all the spoiler alerts, and if you fit into that category, you might want to step away now. So, 
uh, Christmas 2008, what are we dealing with? These are the candles that I am going to be evaluating for my Christmas and July special. There is, of course, more. There are still, there's always a second wave of Christmas candles. You know, usually you get the six Christmas candles that come out in like October, sometimes as early as September. Uh, but then usually like later on in November, you get that second wave. Uh, last year it was the cookie swap. The year before it was also the cookie swap. Um, uh, so though I know if you check out the description in all my videos, I listed all of the fragrances that have rather leaked or have been publicly announced in one form or another. But like I said, these are the ones that I will be announcing or uh, evaluating Christmas, Christmas in July video. I'm gonna do a nice little edited video. It's not gonna be outside. It's gonna be kind of decorated. It's gonna have a little, a little bit nicer production value. I probably won't be sweating like this. All right, so uh, first candle. And look at look at first of all look at look at that look at that right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this quick. I know a lot of you guys are not crazy about all these little details, but I still can't get over this. Uh, tumbler, tumblers usually come in what kind of wax? The soy blend, right? Well, not not uh, this fragrance this year. This is going to be glittering star. This is a brand new fragrance for 2018. You'll see some fragrances. Uh, I, I think Turquoise Storm is another fragrance where even in the tumblers, uh, they still come in paraffin wax. Usually the really white candles, like Season of Peace, uh, uh, anything, anything that's like bleached white in color will come in paraffin because, um, well, sometimes the, 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 the soy blends, uh, you, they can't get them that pearly white color, but also sometimes, like in this case, I was told, the fragrance oils just don't jive with the the soy the soy blends, uh, and, I, and I actually kind of prefer that. I, I just like the look, the marbling, uh, but glittering star. Uh, I'll give you a quick little breakdown. I have two of these. Uh, I have two of these because w these were obviously purchased at outlets, and I've noticed throughout several outlets that I visited. I was smelling, they, they all smelled a little bit different. There were some variances. And uh, I hate when that happens because then you don't really like, you're like, well, which one is the real scent? So I smelled many different versions of these two candles. I initially purchased this one, which is on the lighter side, but it's, it's that, it's that um, uh, 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 ruby red grapefruit. It is that red currant and it's star anise spice which is it which is really nice and it's been sitting out here where it's kind of warm which is really helping it uh, uh, show a little bit better uh, in the AC you know when you're in the Yankee Candle outlet or a storefront uh, this is a little bit more closed it's a little bit more quiet the intensity is not as strong but when you bring it outside for a couple minutes whew, it really starts to warm up so I'm not gonna do an in-depth but let me give you a little tip. I found this one at an outlet, and I knew this was the one to evaluate. Why? There's two labels. Number one rule, the biggest tip, the biggest hack, whatever you want to call it, the biggest tip I can give you for shopping at Yankee Candle outlets is that do not, do not, never look for the prettiest looking jar. Look for the ugliest. Uh, the most sloppily poured, the most uh, uh, really poorly labeled, you know, creases in the label, crooked label. Look for the ones that just look like they've been through the ringer. Why? Because better chance, 99% chance, that is why that candle is at an outlet. You get what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with the fragrance, but because there's two labels on here, this probably was pulled off the manufacturing line and the sl sticker was slapped on there and meant to be sent to an outlet, right? Only because it has an aesthetic problem. But the fragrance is perfectly fine. Uh, and I do that, and this is interesting because when I smell this one, this does have a little bit more of a deeper, fruitier aroma. 
you know, I'll get more of like sweet notes, um, uh, kind of like cooked down strawberries, uh, compote, um, fillings of like, uh, f f fruit fillings of pastries, you know what I'm saying? The concentrated cooked down form of uh, fruit, where this was more, like I said, this was more of that kind of winter berry, that, that cranberry, that red currant, that really tart side. So I can't say for sure which one is the better representation, but they are both paraffin wax. Uh, this one seems to look like in perfect condition as far as it being poured. This one's as the two labels. So my, my, my trust goes into this. Okay, so that is the first candle, Glittering Star. What do you guys think about that name? Glittering Star. If you're watching this later, uh, the comment sections below will be available. So type in your thoughts on the names and the concepts here. I'm not really sharing too much of the concepts, but at least visually, like the pictures and the names. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? And, and be honest, but be, you know what? Be kind. You know, there's, there's no reason to be uh, overly overly uh, um, dramatically, uh, what, what do I want to call it? Uh, I don't know. Insult or bash the company. We don't want to do that, right? We want, we want them to like us. They, they, we want Yankee Kindle to like the fans, not hate the fans because we're always bashing them and saying negative things online, right? Right? <clears throat> I really was choking there for a second. All right. Candle uh, number two, to me this is like, not only is this the safe one for the holiday, but I really think everyone is gonna like this. This probably is already my pick. Um, a lot of you have found it and, and haven't purchased it. Uh, you know, I, I spoke to a few of you um, who kind of thought it was, you know, kind of basic. And to me, I think it's anything but basic. The name is basic. We have Icy Blue Spruce. Um, if we've watched my recent homeworks video, uh, where I was talking about Harry Slacken's, um, winter hearth candle, it has, uh, icy spruce as one of the description notes. So I talked about that a little bit in length and I visited a Christmas tree farm and I spent some time with, uh, Debbie from Herd's family farm. Huge shout out to Debbie. Uh, we were just geeking out about the smells of all the different varieties of Christmas trees, but we, we, we noticed how, how different the spruce variety stands out compared to the rest, the balsam fir, the Douglas fir, um, and even the blue spruce versus other, other kinds of spruce. Uh, an icy blue spruce, oh yeah, it's icy, it's cooling, it smells like spruce. Again, to recap, it smells like a Christmas tree, but it also kind of smells like we went outside right now with our tent and backpack. Maybe we brought our fishing rod. I don't, I don't fish. Maybe we brought our, our boat. I don't boat. I don't kayak. I don't do any of that stuff. I would love to do that stuff. I got on a kayak once and I just flipped upside down and I, I was under the water for several minutes. At least it felt that way. Uh, but this is not a li like a straightforward, literal icy spruce candle. This is going to be uh, added. It's going to have uh, uh, additional touches, a lot of liberties taken. Because to me, this smells like a lime aid that has been infused with like steeped blue spruce needles. It's a really interesting concept, you know, because it is herbaceous. It's it's coniferous or just to, 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 for the sake of communicating a little bit better let's just call it piney a pine christmas tree smell but it's very refreshing i'm not kidding this you'll hear me say this a lot of the times but if this had like ice cubes in it right and like if it looked like this and there was the limes instead of lemons i would be very tempted to take a sip of this right now it is very refreshing it smells delicious it's sweet it's tart it has the makings of a, a, a beautiful tasting cocktail or just a summertime or Christmas beverage yeah but definitely a lime aid tart and sweet juice infused with that classic Christmas tree 
maybe not classic Christmas treat, but that classic blue spruce aroma. I have a lot more to say about that candle, but let us move on. Here's an interesting one, and I want to give a shout out. I don't know if she's here, and I'm not really paying attention to the comments as much as I should. I apologize. Hey guys, everyone's everyone's here. Uh, Violet Moon, I just caught your message right here. I like this. She goes, I miss the original balsam fir and not balsam and cedar. Uh, we talked about that recently, uh, how in the late 90s, balsam fir uh, uh, was, uh, was, was, was kind of replaced by balsam and cedar, but then balsam and cedar went on to be the most successful Yankee Candle scent of all time, but I, I definitely hear you. They were two different, two different kinds of candles. I just bought one in a black band. So check this one out. So the shout out I want to give here is going to be our dear friend Nicole, uh, who is uh, one of the moderators in the Facebook fan group. Uh, she's been a loyal fan really since the beginning of the candle enthusiast. This candle is going to go by the name of Sugar Frost Christmas because we were having a conversation, Nicole and I, about this candle. And I was saying um, that it was very light. And, uh, you know, my, my, my point wasn't to say that I was dissatisfied with its lightness. My point was to, I was suggesting that, oh, man, a lot of, a lot of, candle goers, a lot of candle consumers are going to be frustrated by the lightness of this candle. But she goes, no, I, I, I love it. I found it at an outlet. I've been, I've been burning it. I enjoy it. And I wanted to give like, uh, you know, an internet, interweb, cyberspace high five to Nicole because uh, it's, I love it when people can truly appreciate a lighter scent or a medium scent. Uh, all candles don't have to be this huge, explosive bomb in your living room. Sometimes, and I think we all know this, but we forget about it. Sometimes it is really nice to have a soft, subtle smell in your house. And Christmas, or excuse me, sugar frost Christmas, I think, uh, is going to be one of those. This is going to be a light it, set it, forget it kind of info commercial kind of thing. And it's going to work its magic almost on a subconscious level. You know, uh, people are going to come into your house and they're going to be like, they may not even know if that's a candle. They might just think, oh, maybe they, maybe they were eating cake a couple minutes ago and I missed out on the fun. Uh, it's not going to be something where someone's going to walk into your house and be like, ah, put out that candle. Come on. You know, because you know you, you're the host, you're in your house, you're lighting candles, you're desensitized, you're fatigued to all of the home fragrances all throughout your house. You're used to it, but people coming, and Anthony Candle, Candle Cafe is popping in real fast. A uh, huge, uh, I, wa I wanna mention a lot of things I wanna say about Anthony real quick, that uh, we do have uh, hopefully another collaboration coming up in the near future, and it's a project that I have been talking to you guys about for a long time, uh, but also Anthony, interview Harry Slacken I mean I, I this is the kind of content we need on YouTube guys do you understand me sitting here talking about candles this is great all of us sitting talking about candles this is great but we need to get out there and we need to learn we need to educate ourselves we need to be candle nerds and we need to embrace that or at least some of us need to be candle nerds and report the news and that's exactly what I, th I think Anthony did I'm not calling Anthony a nerd, but he uh, talked to Harry Slack and, and got all of this information from him that QVC would never get out of him. We heard a lot about, I'm sorry that I'm taking a tangent here, but we heard a lot about Harry Slacken's philosophy on candles, uh, conceptually how he comes up with candles, a little bit about his background. He even said last night in QVC, it's like, oh, I can't even tell you about my background. You're gonna have to Google it because it's a long story. Well, guess what? Anthony got the story. So if you haven't checked out Anthony's interview with Harry Slacken, really, if you really want to uh, see what it's like from the creator's standpoint, a, a, a fragrance creator's standpoint, their history, their story, and someone like Harry Slacken, um, 
really, uh, uh, whether you buy Homeworks candles or not, I think we all can agree that this guy has got an incredible grasp on the industry that he's in. So huge shout out to Anthony. And Anthony got a shout out on QVC. Anthony is a QVC star. He got a shout out last night from Harry Slacken. So everyone just say hi to, to Anthony. Anthony, thank you for stopping in. And then we have Philly Candleman, I see right here, popping in the house. Uh, another huge homeworks uh, aficionado. Uh, I really have to thank some of these guys uh, for um, guys and gals. I just say guys in general, but for introducing me to homeworks because without you guys, I probably would never would have jumped on the bandwagon. Uh, but a huge shout out and Philly Candleman Brett, I do have a shout out for you when I when I get to this candle. Um, but like I said, I'm sure you guys are probably watching Harry Slacken. And yes, great point, Anthony. Check out Brett's time lapse video about the Four Wicks wax, wax pool. So what, uh, what what Brett did was he took uh, the three wick candles that were from last year. Was it last year's candle or was it the competitors? I can't remember, but he did a time-lapse video of the, the three wicks versus the four wicks. And he showed uh, really uh, a lot of details in a time-lapse video of how the candles pull out and considering the speed and all that jazz. Again, he's bringing science and being informative and adding education to, to the content. And you guys know how much I appreciate that. Uh, science science and, and education, always a good thing to talk about when we're talking about candles. Woo! And uh, so, yes, huge shout out to Brett. Where, what was I even, was I, I was talking about this candle. So, light, light linger. I even heard Harry say that he, 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 he admires candles of all different intensities. So this candle right here, again, Nicole, is Nicole here? I thought I just saw her face. She is here. Uh, Nicole, I was just talking about you in our conversation about this candle and how you were saying that you really like it and that you appreciate that it's a lighter candle. So what does it smell like? To give you a few uh, descriptors, again, not going into depth, uh, but this has that cream cheese frosting filling. A little bit of uh, that cheese Danish thing going on too. But trust me, if, that, if that's not your bag, like you don't like cheese Danish, you don't like things like sour cream, you don't like any of those dairy products that have like a, a sourness to it, please don't let that bother you. Because this is a, a highly sweetened confectionery and vanilla driven fragrance. I, do, I don't, I don't want to go and say uh, Angel's Food Cake because I always reserve that description for Angel's Wings. Uh, but there's a little bit of that Angel's Food Cake thing going on here, but let's call this a lemon chiffon, that yellow cake, right? Because there is a little bit of that tart, bright, citrus, lemon. Lemon is just a descriptor I guess I'm gonna have to use on every candle. Uh, it just, I guess that's just the way it goes. Uh, but a lemon chiffon, if you're familiar with that light, delicate cake with that bright vanilla sweetened frosting, a little bit of that cream cheese action, that's what I'm getting. And we'll talk about maybe possibly getting a little bit of that fruit in there, but I don't want to touch on that now because mainly it's the frosting and the cake that's coming through on can never remember the name of this candle. Sugar Frost Christmas. Let's keep this going. Let's keep, Cookie Hill is in the house. Diane is in the house. I see Eric Violet Moon. I wanna make sure I get everybody. Uh, Cruise Bat. Is it, we have a new, is this a new subscriber? I watched Brett's video. He did a great job, he certainly did. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Is it Du Wu? P-L-D-R, I, 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 let's call you Doo Woo. Can I call you Doo Woo, Doo Woo? I hope I'm not making fun of like a real name. Uh, we got Jordan, Nans, uh, Jackie is in the house. And if we have any lurkers, we have people hiding out in the background. Christina's here. Uh, please come out. Karen is here, Natalie was here, Kitty Danger was here, Nick was here, Trisha was here. Um, Come out from the lurking and talk with us. We want to be your friends. It sounded really spooky. 
and it is raining. We got a little bit of thunder and rain going on. Let's move on to the next candle. Again, folks, sneak peeks here. These are not in-depth evaluations. And then we're gonna get to the giveaway from last week, the 90s music giveaway. Uh, look at this one. <laughs> Eric says, I'm, I'm watching, listening, but mostly lurking. I like it. I'm, I'm watching, I'm listening, but mostly lurking. Perfect name for an autobiography <laughs> for Eric. Eric, I'm totally just kidding with you. Eric is uh, hilarious. Um, snow dusted bayberry leaf. These names are out of control. They're getting longer and longer and longer. Warm, crisp apple. Can you remember the name last year? It was the longest crisp, it was the longest Yankee Candle title of all time, and I'm forgetting it right now. Warm, crisp, somebody look it up. Huge high five to someone who can remember it or look it up. Warm, crisp, apple, whatever. It was the longest Yankee Candle name ever, but this one's pretty close. Snow dusted bayberry leaf. And, you know, I think everyone's first question is, is you know, is this gonna be similar to Williamsburg? Bayberry, is it going to be similar to uh, the, ba the classic Bayberry candle we see every year from Yankee Candle? It's a little bit more soapy. It's a little bit more soapy. In fact, I, I honestly, this may be the first time I'm smelling this. Warm, pine warm pineapple upside down cake. I think, Brett, I think the cookie swap candle last year was even longer than that. I really honestly think that this is the first time I'm smelling this candle. I, I, I obviously purchased some of these without even smelling them. I, I do that intentionally, but sometimes I buy so many that I, I, my no, I just, you know, my nose is shot by the time I spend my first half hour Yankee Candle that I can't even smell anymore. But this is interesting. I mean, a bayberry, a little bit of spice. This is really great because I am not the biggest personally. I, I own them. I like them, I like to smell them, but I don't burn them. I don't burn a lot of Bayberry candles because sometimes they're really supplemented with a lot of spices. And they're, it's a little bit too aggressive for me. We're, this is gonna take a huge step back. Again, there's a lime candy here, a little bit of a lemon verbena here. This is bright, this is tart. There's like some Sour Patch action going on here, like Sour Patch Kids. I'm not making fun of this. That is a good thing. It's because when I say something like Sour Patch Kids, um, I mean, we can say that between, within this little group because we, you know, we're self-proclaimed candle nerds, dorks, call it what you will. But Yankee Candle would probably call this something like sparkling lime, right? To not say, have to say Sour Sour Patch Kids. Sour Sour Patch Kids. But definitely a, a kind of a Mike and Ike's movie theater green candy. Very interesting. And there was something else I'm getting, but I'm just losing it now. It, well, I initially said a little bit soapy. And I just can't put my finger on it. Not, not like an Irish spring. Something a little bit more like zestfully clean, you know? It's ze zestfully clean is not as powerful as Irish spring. Irish spring is for the power, the intensity, but zest, a little bit more lotion rich. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with zestfully clean. I don't think that, I can't remember the last time I used zest, but I think my memory is pretty good when it comes to remembering scents of bath and body products. A uh, little bit, uh, so very interesting. It's a, it's a sweet tart. Again, I'm gonna use that word refreshing. You get that bayberry, but there's not, there's no, there's not, if, if there's any spices in here, it's not a lot at all. So uh, this is something perhaps from the, just like seeing it for the first time on the shelf, reading the name, maybe I wasn't a really that excited about it, but after smelling it and after maybe I spend a little bit more time with it, this might actually be my pick of the bunch so far. That's what I get for not smelling it before buying it. Uh, so we covered it. We covered Glittering Star, Sugar Frost, Christmas, Icy Boo Spruce, Snow Dusted Bayberry Leaf. And I want to give a huge 
Shout out to Brett, Mr. Philly, Candleman, for his investigative research. Uh, like myself, Brett goes to outlets, makes, I'm sure he makes lots of phone calls. He does his fair share of work of hunting down uh, candles and uh, he, really huge high five to him because that's not an easy game. Dealing with calling outlets is not easy because they do not want to admit to you that they have candles that have yet to be released in retail. And a lot of the times Yankee Candle Outlet Associates, and it's not their fault, they really don't even know what it is that they have. They don't know if it's an old fragrance, 10 years old, or if it's brand new. So. Uh, finding stuff like this was a huge challenge. I found this, my options were to drive six hours, about an hour, hour south of Canada, right in the top of Seneca Lake in New York, to an outlet. Find folks there, uh, but that was the only place I could find this candle, but Brett found it for me and kindly sent it my way. Uh, this is the kind of support I'm talking about, the kind of positivity and kindness that does exist on uh, YouTube. This one is going to be called Frosty Gingerbread. And again, I didn't, I, I, I opened this the other day. Brett even asked me what I thought of it. I'm like, I don't, I don't even know. I mean, I stuck my nose in the jar for a couple seconds. So let me, let me, let me, let me pull out some, some initial reactions. So it is, I, mean, I don't even have to smell it anymore right now to tell you that. <clears throat> like I'm, you know, I'm getting a little bit of, <sighs> gotta take some deep breaths because it's spicy. Some people are, can handle heavy spice, but this is a situation where we're dealing with not just ground ginger, but we're dealing with some cinnamon, some cinnamon that could be nutmeg in there. So this is a very spicy form of gingerbread. Gingerbread cookie, you know, you see on the label here, there's these like gingerbread stars. These aren't gingerbread men. And look at the color of that gingerbread. It's dark, you know? It makes me think like, there's a little bit of molasses going on in these, these frosty gingerbread cookies. And when I thought about that, um, it, it brought a lot of things to my mind. In fact, the first thing that came to my mind was ginger snaps, ginger snap cookies. Yeah, right? Um, spicier than ginger snap cookies but it has that crispy, crunchy, baked, toasted cookie smell, uh, rather than that ooey gooey, that like your, your teeth sink into that freshly baked gingerbread, right? Uh, but something that I want to throw out there, and this, maybe you guys wanna do a little bit of research here, or maybe you guys just know about it and it's new to me, but last year I went to Old Sturbridge Village and tried something called the Joe Frogger cookie. Uh, apparently, th there's a, such a long history to this cookie, and apparently there's only two places in the world that you can actually, I mean, anyone can make them, but you can, there, there's only two places in New England that you can legitimately buy them, and I don't know why I'm giving you the quotes, because I'm not quoting anything. Um, but that's gonna be, I think it was Marblehead on the North Shore, north of Salem, Massachusetts, and the other place is going to be uh, Old Sturbridge Village or Sturbridge, I should say. And this cookie is formulated just like you would imagine a gingerbread cookie, but it is going to be infused, enhanced, with an, a, a massive amount of molasses. And that gives you, if, I mean, if you've never had such an experience, a super rich, rich, robust, uh, Rich, robust, I think those, those are the adjectives I want to use. There's no reason to go any further. Rich, robust flavor profile, and in this case, aroma profile. That Joe Frogger cookie, uh, it, w it was big, but let me tell you, it was a meal for four. It was a meal for four, one bite. It was like, what is that cake in Lord of the Rings that they eat? Like, they take, take one bite and it like makes them feel like they're full. I'm not a big, I haven't watched all the Lord of the Rings, nor have I read the novels. Some people might be upset about that. Um, but it's a, a very, very dense cookie aroma with molasses, heavily sweet, heavily spiced. So frosty gingerbread, okay, 
okay, but let's go with, you know, uh, some form, I'm sure there's other, other cookies, there's other desserts, there's other baked goods that utilize uh, a much higher ratio of molasses because really that is what I'm getting. And, and, and I think they're, they're illustrating that, right? The darkness of the cookie. And uh, it, the fact that it's called frosted, yeah, because we have lots and lots of sugar and sweetness happening on that cookie. So what I want you guys to do, I'm gonna get, hopefully maybe get my hands on a couple more Christmas candles uh, for, for 2018 Yankee Candle, but uh, I will be doing my in-depth evaluation in a very, in a very festive Christmas in July appropriate area. We won't be out here on the porch uh, and I am very excited uh, to, to put together that video. I know it's going to be a lot of work, so maybe I'm not incredibly excited, but I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly excited for when it's completed. Um, let's put it that way. So there's the little sneak peek of Christmas 2018. Uh, again, just to keep with this Christmas and July theme, but I think a lot of you folks want to know who is going to be winning this little giveaway, right? We have a candle in here, and I'm gonna sum up um, really what the giveaway was, just in case you missed it. Uh, about a month ago, I was driving in my car and I asked my phone, and I'm like, hey Siri, play my 90s, 90s playlist, which I really don't listen to often. And I remember distinctly, uh, Boys to Men came on <laughs> immediately, and I'm like, uh, Siri Shuffle, not that I, I don't like, I like Boys to Men, big part of my past, but um, I wanted something a little bit different in the moment, and then a song came on. And I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. This reminds me of grade school. I'm getting all dressed up. I'm putting my older brother's clothes on to go to the, the middle school dance, trying to look cool. Putting on a little bit of my dad's cologne. I'm all like super pumped up and confident. But then I get to the front doors of the school, the auditorium, and I am nervous out of my mind. Cause I realize, like, oh my God, this is like, this is it. I gotta go ask, I gotta go ask Danielle for a dance. And this is not, this is not gonna be easy. Um, so it actually brought a little bit of like heart palpitations uh, when I heard this song because it reminded me so much of that experience. So the trivia question was, what, there's a noun in the name of that song, a noun. The trivia question was, what Yankee Candle, or, I, I, who slow down. I tried to think of, I, I tried to personally think of a Yankee Candle that shared the same noun that's in that song. And I couldn't think of one Yankee Candle in the Yankee Candle's history that had the noun of that song in it. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is impossible because this noun is perfect for a Yankee Candle. And I racked my brain and I just could not come up with anything. And then when I got to my final destination and go figure it was a Yankee Candle outlet, uh, I walked right in front of a candle that had this word on it. And to be perfectly fair, I later did think of another Yankee Candle that had the same noun. So the trivia question was not what was the name of the candle, the trivia question was, what was the name of the song from the 90s? It was a hit. Um, I mentioned that it was at least on the top five, uh, the Billboard charts. And I got so many great answers. I'm looking at them right now. Um, um, <laughs> some of them were crazy. Uh, smells like teen spirit? I guess so. Spirit, spirit is a noun, and um, that is that is certainly an, a Yankee Candle. I can't think of one right now. Spirit, 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 but I'm sure there is one. Uh, Nicole, I'm sorry for if, if, you don't, if you don't want me to be using name, Under, Under the Bridge, awesome. Uh, Cotton Eye Joe sweater song, all of these names, I'm looking through them, I'm like, wow, so much thought is put into all of this, and November rain, Guns N' Roses, like, come on, this is awesome. Like, I can't believe you guys extracted so many perfect, 
I want to I find one more. Um, Buddy Holly by Weezer. Holly. Holly. This, that's awesome. So I really, uh, Michael Jackson's human nature. Um, I really appreciate the work that you guys put in. But here is the situation. There was 51 comments. 50, and that means everyone had three guesses. So over 150 guesses. And guess what? The first guess, the first post was the answer. And it made me think like, wow, maybe this was a little bit easier than I thought, but it's not easy. And the, and the fact that it was the first guess and the person who guessed it, it was the only guess that they gave and that is going to be Jared T. Jared T. I don't know if you're here with us today, uh, but he guessed the name of the song. That is going to be, of, co of course, Waterfalls by TLC. And I'm going to play a few bars of that for you. I get about 10 seconds. It's kind of like a, a rap with my voice in the background. I have 10 seconds before you... Uh, uh, YouTube flags it for copyright issues, but Waterfalls by uh, TLC. That was the song. That was a song I remember walking into my middle school uh, grade. Middle school it was probably like seventh grade. I think it came out in 1995, so it would have been maybe sixth grade dance. And uh, yeah, man, that that those those, those memories are very special. They're nerve wracking. They're they're memories that you don't really think back to too often. But the power of that song, and the, especially the, the memories of watching the music video on MTV, it was on like every five seconds. So Jared T, this is what's gonna happen. Um, uh, please reach out to me, Candle Enthusiast, listen very closely, Candle Enthusiast at yahoo.com. Candle Enthusiast at yahoo.com. Uh, please uh, uh, contact me, say that you want. Uh, Tell me all the details. I'll, I'll, I'll put your name uh, and, and remind you that you won in the description and let everybody else know that you won. Uh, and for any reason, just because I don't think I've been formally introduced to Jared T, just in case Jared T doesn't uh, claim this candle, I'll give the next person in line who guessed that song um, this candle. I'm looking at the screen here and it says 76 million 76 million views and I was thought I thought for a second I was watching my video and I'm like what I have 76 million views no it's it's the, the views for the waterfalls video 76 million views I think that that shows you the power of this song and the nostalgia whether you like the song or not um, a guy's comment right here I'm 47 years old, and I listen to and appreciate anything from Kenny G to Metallica. This song was always this song has always been one of my top favorites. Three genuine, beautiful women singing, sung from the heart, and not today's crap music. I'll use the word crap. Uh, powerfully, uh, powerful video and lyrics. I can never listen to it just once. That comes from Mr. Charles Deering. Um, and, and he's got 369 thumbs ups for that comment. So what is the candle, Jared T and everybody else? This one does go back quite a ways, but uh, for whatever reason, in the United States, they poured, I think it's for the semi-annual sale, they poured uh, this kind of older fragrance uh, this year for 2018, and they didn't put it, they didn't even bother to put it in the new label. They went for that classic old label. The name of the candle is Waterfall Canyon. And then, of course, how could I forget, last year for the spring summer preview, we had um, Island Waterfall, right? I reviewed the candle. I can't believe I didn't think about that. But this was the candle that I saw at the outlet. And I was so shocked that it was available for sale, that they poured it in 2018 and here's the thing this is not an outlet candle so i don't even know i don't even know why was that the outlet i mean this is probably just something that they had a lot of at the south uh, south deerfield factory 
Um, they probably sent some to retail. They probably sent for the semi-annual sale. They probably sent a lot and sold a lot to places like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, think retails of, of that nature, maybe Hallmark. But they must have had a lot left over. And, uh, and so they, they went to the outlets. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this candle. I mean, it's beautifully poured. The, 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 the wick has been trimmed. Uh, other than that, I, I see nothing wrong with this. And it smells amazing. Like, uh, as far as atmospheric, um, um, I don't want to say beachside because this is not beachside, but, uh, you know, like as far as like beach flower candles and clean smelling candles, you know, the kind of fragrances that we use and, uh, our kitchens and our bathrooms that very clean smell. I mean, this is almost like, uh, Island waterfall in that it has that freesia flower Another, some other florals that are not as tart and citrusy, but a little bit more sweet. Definitely uh, sea salt, sea breeze, as if that mist from the waterfall is hitting you in the face. Uh, some of the green vegetation. It's a very, very pretty candle. I've never personally burned it. Uh, this did appear once in a black band. So there you go, there it is. Waterfall Canyon, Jared T, please reach, reach out to me. I'll give you five days. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I'll give you five days. Just be, I'm only saying that because I don't think Jared T and I, like I said, we've ever really been formally introduced. I don't think he's ever, other than the day we had the giveaway, was ever in a chat room. If he doesn't respond, uh, like I said, I'll give it to the next person in line. Uh, I'm going to ship this to you uh, free of free of charge, of course. And we're gonna be doing lots of other giveaways in the near future. So that was fun. I always like talking about nostalgia and 90s. It's funny to use the word nostalgia in 90s in the same sentence. It's so weird that 90s is nostalgic now, but I guess I'm just getting older. Um, but uh, uh, super cool. This has been great. So a little bit of a Christmas preview. We have our announcement for the giveaway. It's at this time that I'm going to wrap things up and I'm going to move to my secondary channel, Aromatically Speaking, where I'm going to sit back. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I'm going to enjoy my water. But I got other candles, folks. I got other candles that we need to talk about. Some of them we, some of them we really need to talk about, right? We have, we, we have whatever this is. This was sent to me. We need to talk about that. Um, and uh, some other goodies that I will grab. They're actually uh, indoors. So give me about five to 10 minutes and you're gonna find me going live on Aromatic, Aromatically Speaking. But for everybody else, uh, thank you for joining in today. Thank you for uh, always being so kind and positive. I can't say that enough. Uh, you guys are always uh, so just so kind, nicest comments. The only thing I, I'd like to selfishly promote uh, if you haven't checked out my Homeworks Harry Slacken video, even if you don't plan on buying Homeworks candles, even if that's not your bag, I understand. I never, I never, I never uh, uh, re reviewed or evaluated Homeworks candles, but uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the fine folks at Homeworks reached out to a bunch of uh, uh, YouTubers and Instagram, um, 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 personalities can I call them personalities and they sent uh, they, they sent you know randomly these candles for evaluations and I, th I think it was brilliant because guess what you know I I will I, I, I will be bu probably be buying homeworks now I don't know how much I'll be reviewing homeworks candles but I will certainly be buying homeworks candles because I was very impressed very very impressed with what I had and I think that um, Certainly has a good, he, uh, Harry has a good head on his shoulder, but most importantly, I put a lot of work into that video. Usually something like that, I would edit over a course of a week here and there, break it up, but it was a fight to the finish. I had to get that done because Harry went live on QVC last night at midnight or this morning at midnight, depending on how you look at it. Uh, so I had to get it up beforehand and uh, Harry even reached out as he did to a lot of us, but he reached out to me and said that uh, he enjoyed watching my video over his morning coffee and was 
uh, very happy and uh, very touched by the video. And, and honestly, to me, all the work I put into it, uh, when I talk about work, I talk about editing. 12 hours of editing, guys, 12 hours of editing for that video. Um, uh, it, it really made the whole experience worth it. And so uh, if you just check out that video, um, if you have a little spare time, put it on the background. Uh, bring some attention to that video because the more views it has, more folks will find it, more folks will find the candle enthusiast, the bigger our audience will get, will grow organically, and uh, we'll just keep spreading this positivity. Uh, thanks again so much for joining me on a Smell It Sunday. Uh, again, 10 minutes, I'll see you on Aromatically Speaking for a little bit more of a sit back and relax style uh, candle evaluation show. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye now.